Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, running Retro Pi 3.6, and I wanted to do some Dreamcast emulation to show you guys how well it works on the Raspberry Pi 3. I do have my CPU overclocked to 1.4 gigahertz. My GPU is at 450 megahertz, and I have a memory split of 400 megabytes to the GPU VRAM. So let's get into it. I have a few games to test here. Uh, first up is Project Justice for Dreamcast. This is a All right, now that we're at the menu, this is Project Justice. This was a really cool Dreamcast game. Um, let's go ahead and do... So, I'm just going to play free mode here. Now, I do have this, the emulator itself, set to 720p. You can run it at 1080p, but there is a lot of lag, so I just jumped it down to 720. Oh, yeah. Let's use this guy. And her. And her. Now I have had some really good performance out of the Dreamcast emulator with the overclock. We still have some lag at a 720p resolution, but if you bump that on down, um, you know, the picture is degraded when you bump it on down, just like anything, but the emulator runs amazing. So this is a 720p here, and as you can see, it's totally playable. We do get some frame drops uh, every once in a while oh. come on there we go and you see a lag in here with all three characters on screen He just destroyed me. Is there any way to tag out? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and exit this. And we'll Next up, Power Stone 2. Welcome to the Power Stone world. your step. Don't fall off because it's a yeah, long way good. down from here. Let the battle begin.
I want to get my power stone on, guys. Come on. There we go. Just can't hit him. Come on, man. So Power Stone 2 plays pretty good. We're going to exit. We'll do the dark side. Intruder alert. alert. Intruder alert. Assume level one defense formation. Hold B button down to lock on. And performance is not too bad. Hopefully in a few months, get some more optimizations done to the Dreamcast emulator and we will have some full speed Dreamcast emulation on the Raspberry Pi 3. I believe the unit is capable of it. It's just a matter of getting the software correct. And I'm using a wired Xbox 360 controller because at the time of making this, the Bluetooth controller, the Bluetooth, the built-in Bluetooth for the Raspberry Pi 3 is not compatible with controllers in emulation station yet. I am sure that is the next thing that they're going to put out for the uh, RetroPie 3.7. So yeah, this is not bad. And like I said, if you set the resolution down to, I believe it'll go to like 360 or 480p, the visuals become a lot more degraded, but the gameplay performance is pretty much uh, full speed. This is at 720p, so we still have some lag here. I'm going to exit. I had Street Fighter Alpha 3rd, Street Fighter Alpha 3, but the sprites are all messed up. I had the same problem with running this on an Android device, so we are go to Vigilante 8, Second Offense. We have a lot of graphical um, glitches going on with this game. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen or not.
And Vigilante 8 Second Offense is not going to work. I have a black screen with sound. Oh. Yes, so, so, slow. This is unplayable. Versus Capcom 2. I did install Jet Set Radio, but it is not showing up for some reason. I'm going to mute the sound in the options menu and the to select menu just so I don't get a copyright strike. And we're having a lot of frame issues here with this game. So what I was going to do was uh, show you guys at the end of this the lower resolution. So I'll do that with this game since we're having some frame issues. So what you do is you select the game. It says press A real quick. Scroll down to select select default video mode and we will go to is that 1280 by 720 so I'm gonna go to 640 okay it took a second for my game capture to catch up but it's at 480p now So let's see what f does instead of 720. As you can see, it's stretched out a bit. Okay. We've got a definitely playable game here with at 480. Now you can go even lower than this, uh, a lower resolution. My game capture will not pick it up. Got me. Jeez, come on. Oh. 
I'm not trying to. Come on. There we go. No, no, do not switch characters again. So yeah, it's very much playable. So that's it, guys. That's the Dreamcast emulator running on the Raspberry Pi 3 with a 1400 megahertz overclock. Like I said, hopefully we get some more optimization out of the Ringcast emulator for the Raspberry Pi, for Retro Pi. And we get fully functional, full speed games. That would be amazing. So everything else pretty much runs great on this. I have um, run pretty much all the emulators. Now Amiga runs amazing with the overclock. I have a problem where my controller is stuck in the right position so I keep moving forward there's nothing I can do I've tried to do a different control I've tried two different controllers I've tried two different keyboards and nothing is helping with Amiga I've been wanting to make a video on the Amiga running but I just can't do it with the controller sticking I've been trying to reprogram it remap it nothing's working so but this was the Dreamcast running on the Raspberry Pi 3 with an overclock I really appreciate you guys watching if you could hit that like button and subscribe thanks